Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. I'm Jessica of ColoringCreativeArt.com. Today let's talk about mixatives. So mixatives are some of my favorite things to use with alcohol inks. They're actually made by Ranger, the same company. They come in the same kind of bottles as Ranger, but they are the metallics, blacks and whites, and they do act a little differently than the regular alcohol inks. So I'm going to tell you um, which what kinds they have. Then we're going to make this nice chart that's going to show us how they work. Um, oh, I have it on my hand. It's going to show us how they work depending on the order that you use them in with the inks. So I have pitch black, snow cap, which is white, gold, silver, copper, and pearl. And as far as I know, these are all the different colors of mixatives that Ranger has now, um, unless they've come out with something different. And I'm getting the white all over me because I had it partially open. I have to. So there are a couple of things I recommend with these particular the mixatives. I'm going to clean this off. I'm just using a towel. You can use a baby wipe that actually probably works better or a hand sanitizing wipe, which is the best thing to use. Okay, so a couple of things to remember with the with the mixatives. First of all, you don't want to leave the caps off as long. Like you can leave the caps off of these ink bottles for a long time while you're working. It's better to put the caps back on the mixatives after you use them. The other thing is, do you hear that sound? Most of them have a mixing ball. It seems that the black does not, but the, all of the other colors, the metallics and the white, the snow cap, have a mixing ball. So you can hear that. Um, if you just bought um, a mixative, you may notice that it's separated where all of the pigment is or metallic is on the bottom and the blending solution is mixed in and you may not hear the ball rattle. You can just hear the liquid move. But I suggest you just keep mixing it like this until you do hear the ball. See, there goes the ball. And you want to get all of that mixed up off of the bottom. It's not completely shaken up yet, but I just wanted to show you that so you would know in case you... The thing about the mixatives that is like super important is that they will completely take over your little piece of artwork. If you use too much mixative, it will take over. A little goes an extremely long way. Now I've already shaken up these bottles of mixatives and for the purposes of making this video go quicker, I'm gonna take all my lids off. I'm not sure if you can see me doing that or not, but I have them all lined up aside. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is go through showing how these mixatives work on glossy cardstock. Now I didn't choose to use the three different kinds of paper um, just because I feel like they work very similarly no matter which paper you use. What matters is the order that you put them on your artwork. Um, so we're going to start with the pitch black and in each section I'm going to do this in a different order. So actually what I think I will do is I will do this column of just the mixative so we can see how they look and I'm going to try and put a fairly small dot. You may not be able to see the white because it is white. Just so you can see the mixative by itself and see how much it moves. Move my hand so you can see the colors. You may not be able to see the pearl either. Okay, so out of all the mixatives, the black moves the most. And also, like I said, it doesn't have the ball in. I think the um, formula for it maybe is a little bit different. So, okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ink. And then I'm going to put the mixative on top of that. Make sure I have enough ink. And we're going to watch and see what happens. So I'm just using mermaid ink just because I want to use just one color. And then I'm going to put the mixative in the wet ink and see what happens. I think what you're going to notice, it's going to move a little bit more than when it was by itself, but it's not going to move very much. 
it's going to spread out a little bit because the ink is wet. But it's not going to go very far. So, and because the ink was a very small dot, it just, you know, almost just covered the ink, but, yeah. So in this case, the black, even though I put a small drop inside the ink, it just went, whoo, it's kind of crazy. And it has a little bit of a purpley tint to it, which I really kind of like. I don't want it to be so much a flat black. Um, and you can see this blended and you can see, it made a sort of a lighter version here and here of the ink. But these three metallics sat on top. This is the gold, the silver, and the copper, and they're just sitting there and there's a little bubble, but that'll go away. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is first put the mixative and then put the ink on top and we're gonna see what happens. Now, usually my process is I'll put the ink, then I will put the mixative and then I will put some more ink but for the purposes of this we just want to put the mixative and I want it to be wet and then the ink and you're not going to see a lot with the black because the black completely obliterates really the other colors so you can see with this one that really starts to move with the with the white and the gold is not as dominant of a color it does move a lot but it doesn't dominate like you're gonna see the silver really going to dominate Putting some more drops. So you can hopefully see it move. So the ink may cover up, but it, it's not going to, but, but you're going to see as it dries, the mixative generally floats to the surface. Now you can really see the pearl moving sure um, how well you can see that because I want you to be able to see the whole entire page maybe I can zoom in a little there we go okay so you can see you get a much different effect so far depending on the order and I will show you one where you put the ink and the, the um, mixative and then the ink when we're finished with this part, when we're finished with this chart. Okay, so then the mixative plus the blending solution. So I have the alcohol ink blending solution by Ranger. And I'm going to put the mixative down first, and then I'm going to put the blending solution. Put my ink over here. And the reason why I want to do that is just want to see how it works with the blending solution. And then I will have this chart so I will know, okay, what happens if I do it this way? And I can go back and look. And um, it's a very, very helpful chart to have. I can see exactly how the inks work together. Um, the mixatives work with the inks. I love the mixatives. I feel like they're the magic in the alcohol inks. Like I love alcohol inks, but the mixatives just really take it to the next level. So, yes, here we go with the black mixative and Try to put just a little drop. I missed, I missed and landed on my word. You see, I used an alcohol marker. I used a Sharpie, which is an alcohol marky to marker, marky, alcohol marky, alcohol marker to um, write. I messed up my little chart. Okay, so blending solution over black. Look, it's creeping into my next thing. I mean, I'm not sure how much you'll be able to see the white. Maybe if it bumps into the black, you might see it. Um, I had to shake that a little bit. It's kind of the nozzle's drying out. Like I said, we're supposed to. Okay, there's the white with the blending solution on top. And that's really moving. And again, my Sharpie line is just, let me see. 
Let me just pick that up a little. There we go. Uh, my Sharpie line is bleeding out because it's alcohol based. Okay. And then we're going to do the gold. And the top. And I found the gold just doesn't move as much as the silver. The silver seems to really move a lot. And if you just keep on blending and working, you'll see. Again, I'm, my Sharpie line is bleeding. Let me clean that up a little. Okay, so especially you notice with the silver, always, always floats to the top of the ink. So it also did it with the blending solution. So it's, that's one reason why it's... It takes so little of the, the metallic mixatives is because they, they float to the top of the ink. I don't, um, you know, something about the formulation of the mixatives that make them do that. Um, I guess they're less dense than the formulation of the inks. And so they float right to the top. It's a really cool effect, but you really need to know that because otherwise, especially the silver will take over, the silver and the black. You can see really see the copper moving a lot in the blending solution. And then the pearl, I don't know if we'll be able to see this again. But here we go. Okay, and those mixed together along with my Sharpie. <laughs> so one thing you can see is, is this blending solution flowed over to this side. It just pushed push that copper. It, the blending solution pushes everything around just like the inks. So I could actually put a drop. Oops, it dropped off the side. So anything. Okay, so I put a drop in that copper and you can see it's moving around. And it's going to flow to the top too and so does the gold. But you just have to realize it's much more subtle. Much more subtle than the silver. The silver really shows up. Um, so there we have. Okay, so that's my little chart uh, that I wanted to share with you. Um, and so I can show you, I guess, a few things. I don't want to move the chart because it's wet and I'm afraid I'll mess it up. So I'm just playing around with the inks. Let's see. Yeah, let's move the chart. Slide that out of the way. And just playing around with the inks, you can see. Here, I just used a some of the new colors, the Valencia, Flamingo, and the Limeade with silver. So I think I used like two drops of silver. And you can see how there's silver all over in this little doodada here. And the same here. And then on the, this is on the glossy cardstock. On the mineral paper, I um, used get a different effect with these inks on the mineral paper. It's really interesting. It's so matte. Um, but you can see, I think, the metallic in those. These are That's mixed with silver. This one actually has some gold in it. But it just didn't, it didn't really um, show up very much. Maybe the colors of the ink I used overpowered it. Uh, but it's really nice. Anyway, it's really, you know, this was a fun, fun little page to do. Fun to do. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick demo. Let me do a quick demo. Yes, here we go. All right. Now I'm just going to try out. Um, let me use the same color. And I'm going to see, show you how it spreads out. This is, again, this is Mermaid. And I'm, because I get the most effect from the silver, let me just use the silver. You see it just drops down into the ink. Okay. But you can see what happens when I add more ink. And you can see it changing. You see the circle of silver get bigger and then smaller because the silver is floating up to the top. And then let's say I wanted to add some blending solution. I'm gonna add quite a bit because I really want it to move. It's really gonna make it move, but I'm also gonna add more ink over on this side. So 
So this is how I tend to work. I I love to do the drops. You can see how the silver floated to the top. You couldn't see it a minute ago. Now you can see it. Um, and I can move and tip this and move that silver around, move the colors around. I'm gonna move that over to the dark side. Just like Star Trek, I'm sorry. My, my, uh, <laughs> my love of fantasy and science fiction is really kicking in today. So, I mean, I don't have to just use silver here. I could use copper. I think copper is nice with this color. I'm gonna put a little drop there. And now I'm gonna go back with the blending solution over the copper because I want it to move. And I got a couple of extra drips there and you can see the silver moving, the copper moving. Really nice effect. If I wanted to, I could move it around with my coffee stirrer. That's really all I want to do. So, and I think I just want to tilt this a little. Get that, those moving. Okay, so is this going to stay this way? No. This is going to take a little bit of time to dry. It's going to shift and move and change. The silver is going to float up. I'm thinking there's going to be silver over here. There's a lot more silver in here. I can kind of see it down in the ink. It's going to really come, float up and come to the top. And uh, you can't really see it moving very much right now. But just for the sake of this demo, let me just add another drop of ink right here and you will see the magic. And another one here. So this is how I love to play with these inks and you'll see me, if you see me messing with these inks, you'll see me do this a lot. I just keep dripping and dropping the problem and I'm not the only one who says this. I've heard many people who play with these say this. The problem with alcohol inks is stopping because they just keep moving and changing and you want to do stuff with it. And you're like, oh, let me see what happens if and, and look when I do this and this is a really cool effect. And I want to get some of the silver over. And you see that's what I'm doing now. I'm just playing with it. Now I'm going to have some silver and copper mixed on that side. Uh, and like I said, it is going to keep moving. This is kind of dry, this area here. But this is still going to keep moving as it dries. Okay, so if you have any questions about mixatives, please, please, please let me know. Leave it in the comments below uh, and I will do my best to answer it. Or any questions about alcohol inks in general. I've been playing with these for a while. You know, I'm not a, a professional expert, but I do know a, a lot about these inks. But it's this is just the way that I play with them. And, um, you know, other people are going to have different techniques, but these this, this is what I like to do. Uh, so, yeah, just if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Subscribe to my channel. This is Alcohol Ink Month at ColorMeCreativeArt.com. And most of the, what I'm doing is for YouTube. I'm doing lots of uh, tutorials and demos and things like that. And so thank you for watching this tutorial and demonstration on alcohol ink plus mixatives. And I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, and don't forget, don't forget, play, play with these things. These are awesome. And if you don't have any, you can find a complete su supply list a basic supply list, I should say, over at my website, colormecreativeart.com. The links are down below. Okay, thanks. Bye.